traveling to preach somewhere and they called him your children just had an accident and all of them died is that the kind of news you want to hear when you are going to preach for god the god you are going to preach for why didn't he save your children they say new levels new devils where did you see that in scripture less than a month later somebody defrauded him of millions you know what the man of god did he went on to preach God now came to him and said, because you were wise to handle this season you just went through. He said, I will give you henceforth 100 mighty angels to walk with you forever. Most times, be careful what you call delay. It may just be the procedure for shifting into a greater speed. Just the way you slow down a car to change the gear to a faster gear. That's what God is doing with your life. When you see God slow you down at a point, it's not because God wants you to be the laughing stock of the family. No, it's because he's about to switch your acceleration. You see, when you mature spiritually, you will not shout and cry like young believers. That's why the Bible says, for we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. You just smile. A man of God was traveling to preach somewhere and they called him. Your children just had an accident and all of them died. Is that the kind of news you want to hear when you are going to preach for God? The God you are going to preach for, why didn't he save your children? Then the devil will come to you and say, he didn't pray enough. Or, you know, the devil knows how to, he knows how to produce different versions of lies. The same lie, he will give it to you in different versions. He will give you the one that looks too good to be a lie. So you believe he will also say, if he knows you will not fall for that one. He will tell you that it's the demons of the place you are going to preach that are fighting you. And it's a sign that you are not, rev you are not ready. They say new levels, new devils. Where did you see that in scripture? The devil knows how to give you different versions of a lie. To a point where if you are not careful, you will swallow it and believe it. You know what the man of God did? He went on to preach. He came back from that engagement, buried his children, and then less than a month later, somebody defrauded him of millions. And then another tragedy happened. In all of these seasons, he was quiet. The only time he will open his mouth is to thank God and to bless God. And then God came to him after that period was over. Of course, you know many people will talk, including spiritual people. God now came to him and said, because you were wise to handle this season you just went through. He said, I will give you henceforth 100 mighty angels to walk with you forever. And I will cause your voice to be heard in the nations. That man's name is Dr. Maupai. Look, But if he had like a young believer now start crying, you know, so, somebody... Let me not say it because the person may be here. The person say, Apostle is using you to preach. How many of you, your phone got stolen? And throughout that week, you fasted the fasting you will never fast. You know, there's a kind of depression that will make you, you lose, lose no, no appetite for food. God has been begging you to fast for three days. Oh, no. Because iPhone 11 got missing. I don't know that for 11 was so powerful. It has fasting venom, fasting anointing. A sign of spiritual maturity is in your ability to identify this new season or new levels and being able to transit into them. <laughs>